Hey everyone, welcome back to another design video. Now Adobe XD, Sketch and Figma are the best design tools out there. There are a lot of other free alternatives to these amazing tools which have their own unique selling points. Without further ado, let's just get started with the video. Before I show you these tools, go to my Telegram channel, join the chat and let's have a great conversation. Now, the first tool is called Famous.co and Famous is actually famous for a very simple online tool which can be used to create user interfaces and then convert it into code. Now, once you get started, once you log in into the service, you are greeted with a page like this. Now, there are a lot of templates which are already available, website templates, business card templates, dad joke templates, I don't know what that is, but a lot of different templates which will help you get started. But I'll start with a new page. Now, as you can see, it's already set up some elements for me so that I can check it out. Much like Adobe XD Sketch or Figma, it has a very simple user interface. It has shapes, so you can choose between all these shapes. It also has something called components. Now, this is something very unique about this. You can incorporate YouTube videos right here. If you, I just click on YouTube, I can then just create a YouTube frame here. And if I click here, I will get a link like this. So for example, I go to YouTube dot com slash Puneet Chavla, which is my channel, by the way, subscribe. And what I'll do is I'll just copy this URL. So command C or control C, go back to famous and just copy this URL here. As you can see, there is now a video which has popped up here. So if I preview this page, which will open up right here in the browser, I can click here and it will start a very complete design tool in a way. Much like Adobe XD and all these other tools, there is an animation feature as well. Uh, you can make it slide in or fade in or scale up uh, based on certain criteria. And in this case, it will scale up once this uh, page starts to load. Say if I preview this, and again, it will load here, animate right here. See how it comes up from this state of being invisible. And that is pretty cool. Just quick animations for uh, different components right here. Now this next tool that we're checking out is called mockflow.com. And mockflow, like, much like your traditional design tools, is a very basic design tool which allows you to create quick user interfaces and also allows other people to comment on these designs and provide feedback. Once you begin with this software, you can just open a new UI project right here. You can choose from a plethora of platforms. So if I want to create an Android watch application, I can do that as well. I just name this Puneet's watch and that's about it. If I go start this, it will open up in a new window right here and I can basically drag elements right here. So for example, I've dragged in this watch diagram here and inside this, I can place different elements, things like Google reply icon and all these elements are already available for me. So I don't need to design anything from scratch. I have another section called power ups and inside power ups, I can basically choose to add a a ton of different power-ups or plugins in this matter. A lot of these are for user interface design, some are for user feedback, some are for even signing documents and much more. You can even connect things like Google Drive, Vote, Unsplash, Icon Finder and much more. The USP for this tool especially is uh, all the different tools that it provides inside this. So you can create sitemaps, uh, information architecture right here in this tool. You don't need to leave here and you can create style guides. You can create uh, design collab, which is just basically uh, working together on designs and you can actually publish websites using this tool. Just need to go to this tool, click on this icon here and you can just create a website from here. It has a bunch of cool uh, UI templates which you can choose from or you can just start from scratch 
and then publish with real life code. Now the next tool is called Just In Mind and Just In Mind actually has a plugin in Adobe XD where you can export from XD to Just In Mind. It is available for download for free on both Mac as well as Windows. As you can see, there are a couple of options like new from sketch file, Photoshop file, as well as Adobe XD file. So if you work on any other software, this can be a really good companion app as well. Now, no video like this would be complete without talking about Marvel app. And Marvel app is one of those OG tools which I started using when I started user interface design. Now, once we're logged in, we're greeted, greeted with this cool little illustration here. If I go to create project, it asks me what resolution I want the project to be in. I'll choose iPhone 11 for this one. And for the project name, I'll just type in Puneeth. That's my name, of course. And I'll click on create project. Now, the cool thing is that I can drag any design here and it will allow me to prototype right here in this design. So if I just drag in anything right here, I have this image from my last video, which is Adobe XD to Android and iOS. Uh, it will basically analyze this image, try to figure out what it is and convert it into your design. And once you have added this, you can quickly go to prototype and you can prototype this to act in whatever way you want it to act in. So for example, here I can create a button over this, which will of course be invisible. And I can either link it to an external website. Uh, I can make it scroll to a certain position on the screen, or I can say link to last visited. I can even choose between different screen transitions and actions, which I can fiddle with. Just like YouTube comments, you can actually add comments here, people who you've shared it with will be able to comment on your prototype in real time. The cool thing is that if you have an upgraded account, which does cost a little bit of money, you can download your prototypes as Android. And I think that is the unique selling point of Marvel app that it now allows you to install an Android app of sorts after you have designed and prototyped right here inside the application. Now the next tool is pretty cool because it allows you to convert your web designs into actual real life websites and prototypes. I can quickly start for free. So this is completely free of cost. So you are greeted with this very simple page right here. You can actually switch between light and dark mode for those dark mode geeks just like me. Well, this tool is really good. You can then create different shapes right here, edit it and place it right here, or you can just resize it. Um, there are unique shapes like hearts as well, because people know how often designers like us like using hearts. You can actually pick up designs from all the other templates which are available here. So I think that is a very unique selling point. You can even add YouTube elements uh, code elements, Google map elements, as well as Vimeo elements. Who uses Vimeo by the way? They also have an integrated material design UI library right here. So you can just drag and drop all the icons from here into your design. At any point of time, you could test out this design as a live website and you can just go to this link that they would provide you and you can see the website live as if it wor is working on a live website. And as you can see, we have our heart here. We have this box, uh, amazing box that we created here. And uh, this is pretty cool because this al allows you to share it with your client or whoever you are designing it for. If we dive deeper, you can see all these elements are actually divs uh, or division tags right here. So it works a lot like Webflow, but I believe this is a slightly simpler version of Webflow, uh, which looks much more easier and has less web jargon. So it looks a lot like uh, our design tools like XD, Sketch and Figma. Once you're done with the design, you can always go ahead and publish it. It has different publishing options. For example, you can upgrade and it will allow you uh, to create custom domains and everything. But for now, I, I might just type in uh, Puneet web, I don't know, Puneet web dot studio dot design and just save it studio dot design. And this is really cool because it doesn't seem like a URL. 
it doesn't seem like a free URL. It seems as if it's a really cool design URL. And that is pretty fascinating to me. So those were some of the unique alternatives for Adobe XD, Sketch and Figma, which you can try this year. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Also click the bell icon right next to the subscribe button. Also give a huge thumbs up to this video that really gets that really keeps me motivated and I'll see you every Monday as well as Thursday. I'll see you in the next one. God bless.